So what we have behind me is uh, a setup that has 50 beds. And it's important that we be able to welcome as many people as possible. So this is one of what will eventually be five sites that will welcome many different types of people. In this case, it's men, but in many of the others, it'll be men, women, trans, young people, uh, dogs, cats, accompanying animals, that sort of thing. The idea is to be able to uh, give people a place where they can get off the street, get a good night's rest, and make sure that they're taken care of and kept at a good distance because we need to practice all of the same things that everybody else in, the, in society is practicing, social distancing, and making sure that uh, hand cleaning and hand washing is de rigueur. So this is an important step because it's one of many steps that we're taking together with our partners at Old Brewery Mission, Maison Zuper, and a long list of others. And what we're trying to do is make sure that no one gets left behind, that the population experiencing homelessness in Montreal is taken care of, and that we create enough spaces so that anybody who wants to come in out of the cold or out of the warmth can do so. One of the things that we will do, obviously, is we're going to be very vigilant. So we're looking for people who might be presenting symptoms. So if that's the case, then there's a whole process that we'll follow, and our people are really well trained in that, to make sure that these people can get tested, and then they go to the what used to be the old Royal Vic. Um, I guess it's still the old Royal Vic, and it's going to be a place where people, people can wait after they've been tested, particularly if they've been positive. So it's a system that's been put in place to make sure that people can be taken care of and to make sure that anybody with a positive test doesn't begin to wander in the community and potentially infect other people.